ta ei olnud ka mingi ekstra, okei okay, nii, Leon tuleb. Äh, nüüd ta vist tuli uh, audioga, või? Hi, uh, we can hear you, but we can't... Uh... Yes, okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Hi, 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 sir. So guys, I just tried to go on the, this, this strange thing, this, this thing that is called, I don't know how, Discord. I have oh, no idea what to do. Yeah, so I have no idea no. what to do here. So it's I'm okay. Sorry. It's okay. We are here <laughs> at Zoom and uh, everything is, uh, is fine and uh, always working uh, perfectly. Discord is a weird place uh, for, for newcomers, as you could say. Uh, but yeah, we are live right now on, on YouTube, so uh, basically you can say hi to our viewers right now. Uh, and, hi! Uh, <laughs> and I am going to introduce you to our um, uh, listeners or, or viewers. Um, uh, today we have uh, Leon Budowski, the director of uh, My Neighbor Adolf, uh, here at our um, podcast uh, Kino Saad, um, um, uh, Leon's movie, uh, My Neighbor Adolf, was the opening movie for uh, last year's Puff, and it's also coming out at Cinemartis, uh, starting from um, February 14th. Um, I have already met uh, Leon via Zoom, uh, was it like last week, two weeks ago? Time is weird right now. Uh, and we talked about our and something uh, about the movie and the editing. Um, everything behind the movie but yeah basically we, we we're going to ask the same questions so <laughs> we, we hope you don't mind because there are new viewers want wants to want to know the same basic things sure. and uh, i hope it's okay to, to ask, sure, sure. Uh, to, to ask this, the same this, this is how you can know if if i invented something and i re have a good memory uh. <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's let's start uh, let's start with warming up with the uh, most uh, most basic question. The, the, the same question I started with uh, our interview uh, two weeks ago. Don't worry, uh, I, I totally forgot everything. Don't worry, seriously. Okay. <laughs> I don't good. remember the, the first question. Let's go. <laughs> that's for good. It. Um, as the movie itself is about a man, uh, a Holocaust survivor who who thinks that his new neighbor is Adolf Hitler, we must ask you. Um, how did you come up with this story? What influenced you? And um, basically, um, what do you think about all those uh, also all those theories about uh, Hitler and his uh, his uh, companions yeah. who fled to South America? Uh, so I I, I I don't like the, the the all those conspiration theories. So I I'm not into them at all. I don't believe in most of them. And I do believe that when it becomes reality, it becomes realities. When it's still just uh, people who are speaking things uh, and imagining things, uh, it doesn't really concern me too much. Uh, the idea came from, it was 12 years ago when uh, I came from, from some festival in Brazil and I was speaking to my co-writer, I mean, my future co-writer at the, at the, at the moment, um, uh, about Brazil, about a lot of things, and he said, "Listen, you remember those, those conspiracy theories about Hitler who who escaped to South America? Let's make one of those. Let's make a script like that." And I said, "Listen, I, I mean, I felt that it, it would be weird to to write a, 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 a character for Hitler. I and I didn't want to, so we kind of like left this idea uh, alone. But uh, but then I was like thinking about that all the time, but not about Hitler, but about something else, about my grandmother, who, uh, who what my what would my grandmother, who is a Holocaust survivor, how would she react to the fact that I'm thinking about Hitler so much? And this is how actually the idea uh, was born because I I. I I was speaking to to my to Dimitri, to my friend, to my co-writer, telling me about this, and he said, "Okay, let's make a film not about Hitler. Let's not write his character. Let's write a character of a, of a of someone who hates him, someone who is scared about him, uh, of him, and someone who thinks that he lives near to him." So that's how the idea was born. Uh, there was this 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 film, um, "Boys from Brazil." He was speaking about uh, this film to me. Um, this is that was the connection with with Hitler and all that, 
Uh, and um, I think when we were trying to explain ourselves, uh, each other and other people and the producers, what are we trying to make? We were speaking, we were saying about, we were speaking about two films. So we spoke about uh, The Rear uh, Window by Hitchcock. And uh, we were speaking about this, this a bit foolish comedy. Um, uh, 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 two grumpy old men. So that was something like that. It was like the two grumpy old men meet meet, meet each other uh, through the Hitchcock window, uh, rear window. Uh, that's that. That was the idea. <laughs> okay, uh, just a quick question. I haven't seen all the interviews and stuff. So uh, my first question would be: um, How did you land Udo Gear for the role of uh, Mr. Herzog? So um, there, there were several there were several uh, uh, stages for that. So the first stage was the Dreamcast that we made um, several years be, before uh, the shoot. And in the Dreamcast, we we're like, okay, let's find this this German looking guy, German guy who looks a bit like Hitler. It was kind of hard to find someone who looks like Hitler, right? Because I guess people who look like Hitler, they they would disguise the fact that they look like Hitler. They wouldn't go like with this. Uh, with this <laughs> oh, look, I look uh, like Hitler. That would be weird. So, um, so we need we needed someone German, someone strange, someone bizarre, someone who comes from a different place. Um, and Udo Kier, he's something like that, right? He has this this crazy blue eyes. He he played like in in hundreds of films. Uh, this this European. French European character in American films, and he played Hitler several times. Uh, now he played more than he he have played before. Which right, he made another two um, roles like that. I think since so um, so that was the the first moment, uh, and then um, some time later when we actually started the pre production. Uh, we started working with a great American uh, casting director, and uh, so I was speaking to her. I explained whatever I'm looking in this character, and she said, "Okay, let me think, and I will I will send you something." So she sent me a picture of Udo Kier. <laughs> she was like, "Wow, seriously? Wow, that was our dream cast," and um, he loved the uh, the idea. Um, I, I was I was thinking that he would say I don't want to play Hitler again, but no, he really liked the script, uh, <laughs> and um, so yeah, he he went through for that. Yeah, I'm quite happy. Okay, um, when I was watching the movie, um, I watched it at the at the uh, the Black Knights uh, movie festival, and I started to wonder about Mr. Polsky and his connection with chess for obvious reasons because I play chess myself and I was you know like why choose chess as he's way into you know uh, uh, yeah, the life of Mr. Herzog <clears throat> um, so um, I it's, it's kind of hard for me to remember exactly the chronology of, of how we came to the idea right so uh, at some point, um, the fact that uh, you, you probably remember in the Seventh Seal, um, Bergman's film, mm, when uh, they play chess, he play uh, the, the knight, the, the knight plays chess with uh, with the Angel of Death, right? With the Death, mm-hmm. Max von Sydow uh, was there, and um, and um, so the fact that you are making this deal, this, this you're trying to play with the devil, that that. This is how Polsky need, needs to feel, anyhow, right? Because one of the biggest uh, challenge, dramatic challenges for this character is to eat and drink and speak and, and with 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 the meanest person in the world, with the with the you know with the angel of death. So that was that that was that. But as well, we we really needed uh, something that will connect uh, to old uh, lonely people. Oh, and chess, <laughs> chess is chess, chess is something that can connect because chess is a sport. Chess is a sport, but chess is a game as well. 
chess is a, it, it could it, it could be like a, you, you can make a solitary game you can play with someone so that that was a very very um very um exact uh choice for the two characters to connect with them so that's 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 how i i guess i like chess i i i, I cannot say i really good chess player but i play chess with my kids uh and um i played with my father and uh that's something that it's part of me a little bit so okay and uh, another question or actually like an what I wanted to know is about the balance of you know the comedy and tragedy in this movie. Why I like the movie is because you know the comedy didn't really interrupt you know the tragic story behind you know both uh, Mr. Bolski and Mr. Helsog. So I was wondering, um, is this what you wanted to do? You know, like this, like the perfect balance, or this just happened this way? <coughs> I think it's it, the easier uh, uh, answer is it just happened. <laughs> uh, I, 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 it's hard for me, uh, you know, like a posteriori to really to try and, and, and go back and to see what did I do wrong, what did I, did I do right. Mm, uh, working on the balance between the dramatic, tragic and the foolish and comic, uh, most of this work we made on, on, on during the editing. This is how we could wow. choose something that worked better and to put uh, out of the film something that that was interfering with the drama and et cetera, et cetera. So that was a very, very big work with a great uh, French editor, uh, Hervé Schneid. Um, I think we, I, was, I was editing by myself uh, the, first, um, the first cut. Uh, the assembly uh, for three months because it was anyhow during the corona uh, lockdown so I couldn't work just on my computer during the night I got my daughter she, she got she was born at the same moment it was a crazy 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 uh, uh, period and uh, and then we start work started working with Hervé and then I worked for several months alone and with the other editor and then we came back to Hervé when he was free once again after a big film that he made and um so and then it was like making a cut, showing it to some people, speaking about it for a long, long time, making some notes, and uh, maybe okay, I will take this scene out. Let's try how it will work without this scene, and cetera, and cetera. That that was the balance I think between uh, the uh, the uh, the tragic and the comic, and um, and the, the grotesque and the uh, sophisticated. It, it's kind of like. Uh, <laughs> really different uh, directions of uh, of emotions while watching the film um, I hope it works yeah, <laughs> I think uh, that... <laughs> for for me at least at, it worked perfectly and and it worked cool. like too good and this is why I started to wonder like start to wondering is this that you wanted to do or you know is it just something that happened I think so there I was think like... it was you I think it was you. <laughs> I think it was you because no, no, I'm, 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 I'm serious. I think it was you because you, you got the, uh, the right, um, the, the right wave of this, I guess, and you liked it and you went and it worked for you. I'm, I, I mean, I, I know some people that it didn't. I know some people that it mostly did, but then this and that. Ah, why not like this? And you know, uh, thank you. <laughs> I think uh, you, yeah, there you was actually... like like many great moments that you know um, I went over like you know the sm small spoiler cell for the viewers, but there is the moment that uh, he breaks into the house to check things. You know you have like this tension and then this comedy and tension and it like flips like you know back and forward really mm -hmm. easy, and I was like okay. Okay, that's not an easy thing to do. So you know, and uh, there were many of these Very places. Challenge. So yeah, and uh, that was the impressive part for me. So. It was okay. very challenging, and uh, I think most of the times I was depressed, I was frustrated, I I was scared, and uh, uh, that uh, we I, I won't get it right. You know, um, yeah. So we had like many, many, many different cuts during the the whole editing process that work differently a little bit, you know? 
Okay. Uh, what was the like the like like the hardest part when you think back to the, you know making the movie? You know that one hardest part that stands out the most. Um, what we just said, this balance okay. that took a lot of time, and to work with two. How to say uh, two. Mm, uh, internationally acclaimed actors, um, we who are of of a good age as well. Um, that was very challenging as well because um, you need to to direct and you need to be their friend and you need to be their a uh, partner and you need to be their commander and you need to be their servant and. Uh, all together, it's very hard. You really need to know and to feel when to be a servant and when to be a commander, when to be a director and when to be their friend. Um, I This is the first time that I work with, with actors uh, like that. I was working with very big actors before, and I already learned that that, that was very, very hard. But it was big, like little roles, smaller than that. So um, that was very very hard, and um, when you pl when you work with I mean, when in Israel when I work with Israeli actors, it's kind of like you you speak Hebrew, which is easier a bit, and uh, you have the same mentality or more or less uh, same mentality, and uh, it's like uh, you 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 feel each other. Um, it's much easier to feel each other when you work with Udo Kier and David uh, Heyman. It's it's more complicated, right? You can imagine. So I would I would say that would be the second hard thing or the first hard thing, and that the first would be the second. Okay, and well, um, however hard it was, it uh, it looks effortless in the movie at least. So uh, so that part you uh, got right again. Yeah, so, they're very good, good, good actors. <laughs> good so, actors uh, and, uh, if somebody would offer to make a sequel to this movie, uh, <laughs> would you be willing to uh, to do it? You know, My Neighbor Adolf Two or something. That's a good question. It's a funny and a good <laughs> question. Sorry. Um, I, I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think eventually it, uh, it depends how much how much money <laughs> I will be offered. <laughs> I, I mean, I I I wouldn't go and do this uh, of my own behalf, uh, of my own will, right? I I, I there, there is I think that's kind of the same way that I don't really like making series, although I uh, I did series and I would <laughs> I'm making series right now as well, but um, I prefer feature films. Because I like touching the subject, touching those uh, characters, and working on this war in this world for a while, and then finishing it and passing to something else. Um, I cannot imagine how people work um, on series of the same, like uh, let's say ten seasons. That means that their whole life they are living the same, the same, I don't know, subject. The same feeling, the same um, place, the same perfect. I don't know. It it kills me because this is why I became a filmmaker. I don't want to be the same all, all the time, right? I want to be a doctor here. I want to be Hitler here. I want to be a lover here, and I want to, you know, I want to change. I want to to, to make new things. So no, I I would never make a, a sequel. But if you call and say, "Listen, there's a million. Let's make a film." Say, of course, let's make a film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Somebody's going to call and offer you. Let's make a movie about I don't know uh, my my neighbor Stalin or something. It's like yeah, okay. <laughs> of course yeah. We had actually all, all those jokes we had actually while while finishing the script <laughs> like years ago. Yes, um, and uh, actually uh, it's 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 spoiling a little bit. No, it's not. No, it's not spoiling. Actually, um, for uh, quite long uh, for some time, the film the film. Um, so, you when he, I don't want to spoil. So the last shot when uh, Polsky is walking. Yeah. Let's let's not say where and why and who and, but when he's walking and then the film is, cut right. So uh, actually there is a scene afterwards, <laughs> that kind of like, doesn't take you to a sequel but it makes it makes a joke for the sequel. 
which didn't work and we we actually we shot something else but we didn't use it any uh, uh, either but um but if you can put my number here for anyone who has a one million dollars to to make a sequel, <laughs> I was just thinking, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, yes. uh, so we, let's ask one more question because we have a limited time uh, space uh, here. So sure. Uh, just to finish it off, what is your own like personal favorite part of the movie? Just, just to you know, uh, give people to look for something when they are watching the movie in the cinema? Wow. Um, it seems like an important question. I don't <laughs> want just to say something. Uh, I, I'm trying to, to replay the movie in my, in my head in, in, in 10 seconds, which is kind of hard. Um, yes, but the, I, I'm sure there is because... Um, when I watch the film with, with the audience, sometimes um, there are some um, some segments that I really want to watch, and there are some segments that I I like less, I guess. So um, yeah, okay, yeah, no, of course, I have like my favorite scene, but it's a spoiling thing. Um, how how to tell? Um, I would say that there would be scene when. Um, when Polsky comes to check a very important element in Herzog's physics to like to finalize his belief if it's Hitler or not. Okay. So just do, do you see do you see what scene I'm speaking about? I just don't want to say to speak about yeah, because yeah. it's really spoiling. Yeah, so that's the scene actually that I was very, very afraid of during the editing. It, it, Ah, okei. Okay. Meil sai otsa kahjuks see. Um, 